Welcome everybody to the Feeder Cattle Futures Review. We're looking at the January 2022 contracts. The symbol is forward slash GF. So if you want to trade that, you can. I know we got ranchers looking at this video, maybe even some feedlots. Uh, maybe people are just speculating and traders and investors. Welcome to the video guys and gals. Let's get busy looking at what's going on today. Today is a November 15th, 2021. Today is a Monday, beginning of a new week. Prices ended today at 158.75. 50-day moving average is 157.13. So you'll notice on this daily chart, I talked about this on Friday, the 50-day moving average is moving down. Okay, it's moving down. So prices are declining on the average day by day here. And you'll notice the prices are just bouncing, or just kind of not, not even bouncing, just riding right along, right above that 50-day. So, so far, they're staying above it. Okay, comes up a little bit, comes down, hits it, kind of riding along here. All right. Pricing looks a little weak as far as the indicators go. All right. And the MACD just kind of flatlining out, coming together just above the zero line. Okay. This big daddy because of this spike over here, it looks a little weird, but it actually is pointing up. Okay, very, very, very short term. Okay, the amplitude percent, because of the bottom wick, is a little bit below that 50, 50 day. Let me just zoom in there, make that a little more obvious. You'll notice that bottom wick right there is just below that 50 day moving average. So you got that and the wick just below it. So that's why the amplitude percent down here is negative a little bit negative it's a negative 0.164 not a big concern but you know pricing's looking like it's just trying to keep its head above that 50 day okay let's take a look at the monthly very short term big daddy wants to go up we got a decent little gap here above the 50 month moving average but very flat very flat at 143.78. So guys and gals, it's not going to take much if that price comes down to get down into the mid to low 150s. It could happen just like that. It could happen quick. Okay, so far prices are staying above and short term looks like it might get a little bounce here, but I don't, you know, if I had to flip a coin, I'd say prices look like more than likely they're going to go down, especially since we're getting a little bit of a heads up here about potential price decline. That's basically what those dots mean. Okay, there's a, there's a greater probability that price will decline when we see these dots like that. Okay, long term MACD on the weekly still pointing up. Okay, weakening just a little bit far as the gap between. Okay. Not too concerned about any kind of distance between the candlestick and the 50 because we know we're pretty tight here. So nothing uh, concerning me there. Like if we were way back here, that would be a concern. Uh, well, not necessarily a concern. It would just give us a heads up that, you know, price decline would be probably imminent when you see this kind of um, amplitude. And that is the amplitude right now, 4.6. But for, but for the feeder cattle futures, that amplitude, even though it's red, really isn't that big of a deal. Okay. So the weekly looks okay. A little a little hint, or at least a mixed signal on which way the pricing is going to go. Right now, just kind of riding above on a very flat line 50. So let's go check out the weekly. Just that time of year where cattle futures don't really want to give us a whole lot of information. Again, even in the weekly, we got this mixed message. One pointing down, the other pointing up. Okay. Wouldn't pay too much attention to those. That was this part right here. Don't see any dots on the weekly over here telling us to worry about some kind of pullback. Long-term MACDs kind of pointing down just a little bit, gravitating towards that zero line. Okay, you can see right here in this candlestick, uh, just a couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, we had a touch almost down to the 50. So it can happen quick. There was a nice rebound there. The 50-week moving average, guys and gals, is 149.8, and we're, we're, well, we're about nine points or dollars. Okay, we li really like to call it points. Uh, nine points above that 50. So 
to me, there's more risk to the downside. That there's more a, a greater probability of price decline than prices going up right now. Okay, that's kind of what it looks like to me, just overall for both live and feeder cattle. But they're kind of holding their line. Okay, let's take a look at that hourly. Okay, this tells a story. Look at that, 50 hour, right up to it. Look at this, guys and gals. Came up, no resistance back here last, or two Tuesdays ago. No resistance, blasted right above that 50 hour like it wasn't even there. Came up, didn't even come down and meet support, which is a very strong signal to when it stays above the 50 hour like that. This is 50 hour or hourly chart, and we look at the 50 hours at blue line. So just keep this in mind, we're looking at the hourly chart here. Very strong on the hourly, came down, touched it, came back up, broke through a little bit. That's usually a sign of weakness right there. When the bounce is very shallow like that, and you get another breakthrough, that often is a sign of weakness. Sure enough, about four or five hours later, trading hours, and it broke below, okay? Now we've had this steady climb since last Friday, probably about mid-session. Yep, about 11 a.m. And it's been climbing steady. Today came right up to the 50, guys. Right up to the last trading hour at 1 p.m. Okay, touched the 50 and just sitting there. Okay. Now, this is going to be really important. Okay. This is a sign of weakness, everything going on here. That's a sign of weakness when we see it trading below the 50 hour and didn't get above it. So, tomorrow, and I believe it's 8 a.m. if I remember right. On this proc, yeah, 8 a.m. I know the cattle trade just trade those six hours from 8 to 1. Um, a little past 1, I think, 1 or approximately 1. Um, so we'll see tomorrow, you know. It'll open up over here, whatever, the 8 o'clock hour. And what we want to see is that 50, where the candlestick will open probably most, most likely to open right above it. But it might not. Sometimes you get gap downs and gaps up. It does happen occasionally. Okay, you see how back here we had this candlestick finish there and a little gap up to there. So we'll see what happens. Does it bust above the 50? Okay. This line is kind of, let me see if I can get it, draw it here. This line's kind of going like that. Okay, so tomorrow at 8 a.m., does it break above? And does it break above strong and just kind of continue on? Okay, or does it break above and do kind of do what it did over here, just like for a few hours, and then trace back down and break below? That would be that would be kind of weak. Okay, and what would be even weaker is tomorrow opens up, it just kind of sits there and then starts trading down. Okay, so those obviously those are the three most likely scenarios, right? So. We want to keep it on that 50 hour. That's going to give us a really good indication of what's going to happen on the daily, okay? Listen, guys, guys and gals in front of you is a membership screen. Take advantage of the join buttons right below this video. You can click on the join button. It's only $5.95 a month. I've had a lot of traders, and I've only had the premium membership up for about a week. And a lot of traders who have also joined the, Dis the Discord server, and I'll talk about that maybe again, but you can join the Discord server where premium members only get invited to that, okay? But a lot of people have already expressed they've made a lot of money. I've had people say they've made thousands of dollars on some of the trades and got help from some of the videos that I put out. Now, those videos are educational only. They're paper trade only. Okay, I don't give financial advice. What you do with them is your own business. But a lot of them are taking those videos. They're applying their own style. They're trading their own style. Okay, they're not, they don't get advice from me financially. But they make good use of the videos. Okay, and they've made years worth of membership. Find out your five, one trade. I mean, you're going to you're gonna pay for years worth of membership, okay? You can renew the membership for, for the next three years and not have to worry about it. It pays for itself, okay? So take advantage of what you can. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that little bell to be notified of all the videos as they come out. Talk to you all real soon again next time.